Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install a new theme uh, in Magento uh, with minimal requirements. So let's uh, go ahead and start. Uh, in app, design, frontend, then we will create our theme inside frontend. So let's get rid of Magento, we don't need this folder. We will be creating a theme called training and inside it as a default. So the theme will be default but inside training. Training is the namespace of the of the theme, and the default is the actual theme. Now, what are the required files to create the theme? We are only going to create a base theme skeleton that does nothing. It doesn't have any effect on the website in terms of layout, styling, and templating. So let's get started with that. So if I go to vendor, and then from vendor I go to Magento. Inside Magento, if I go all the way down. We we'll see here theme frontend luma. So I'll copy files from here. What I need to is the registration file and theme XML file and media folder. If I copy those, copy and then paste them in here. Now, if we go to these one by one, the media is a required for is a required file. Uh, it's a preview uh, image uh, required for the theme. So it does have nothing, but it just required file in uh, Magento. Now if I go to the registration, the reg registration is a theme and then it should be frontend, training and default. So that's it. I don't need to do anything else. Now if I go to theme, the title is training default, get rid of Luma and then the parent is Magento Luma. That's our parent. It's not blank. We will depend on the Luma and then the preview image. That's all what we need. There is another file called composer but we're not running a composer theme so it's not installed in the vendor we are installing a local theme so we don't need register a composer file we just need those now we have those what we need to do now is to run a setup upgrade so if i go here and then run php and then magento upgrade now having done the setup upgrade the theme should be installed so if we go to the front end there's nothing happened it's just the normal theme and it's still running on luma we think the theme is installed but we haven't activated it because it's not selected in the admin so if we go to the database and select theme in the theme we will see there is a training default training default title and it's the code and the name of it and preview preview images and the area is a front end and the id is the theme id is four so how do we get activate this if we go to the admin panel magento side admin now login to activate the theme we go to the content configuration we will see the global default the main website the main website store and the store is it's all luma so if we go to magento luma here in the global if i edit and then select training default and save configuration so that's now will run on all training default theme we clear cache probably we better clear cache from the command line but anyway so we just waited for it to finish now it's finished now when i refresh i would see blind home page there will be some cms's or the widgets are lost so if i refresh now as you can see the all the widgets all the components in the home page were gone similarly with if i go to women there is no components in here and that's because if we go to the content widgets now we would see widgets using Luma and doesn't use the training default theme. What we need to do now is basically in this way we are confirming and validating that the training default theme is being used here and in order to bring back all those uh, widgets we should update the widgets to use the theme the Magento the training default theme but if I go to the widget the Magento Luma design package theme is grayed out and it doesn't let us to update it so the best way to do it is we go in the widgets widget instance and in the widget instance we see the theme id is three we need to update it to be theme four so best way to do it don't do it on live or on this is just for demonstration uh, you would normally create new widgets and then assign it with uh, your new install theme don't do it what i'm going to do here don't do it this is just for demonstration so what i'm going to 
do is I'm looking at this one and now I run a query update widget instance set in ID equals four on all widgets. Now if I run this, all 19 widgets were affected. Now if I refresh here, they're all training default now, but they won't work as expected. I don't think so. So if I go to here and then run php fpm magento cache flush, it wouldn't work as expected. But you can see it didn't work even though I updated it from the directly from the database. What I need to do is I will go to these widgets one by one and say them individually so I go to this first widget save second widget save third widget save, and so on so I have updated all I have saved all the widgets individually so by going into the form and save it individually now if I run cache again and then refresh now we go all the widgets back because the sample data depends on the magento luma theme they will be set as luma but there is no way of setting a different theme by going into the widget form because they are grayed out so I what I've done is I just run this query, database query, to set all the instances to four now. So they are four now, which is the, the training default theme. And then I have to go individually for each widget and save in order to get this corrected. And then flush cache, and then you bring all the widgets back to the uh, new installed theme. So if I go to women now, you will get these. I think that's it. It's creating very slim. Uh, with the minimal required uh, files for the for the theme. I hope this is uh, useful, and I see you in the next video.